He was in the world, and the Jews were debating against him, telling him that you don't know Abraham. He said, Abraham, rejoice to see me in my day. They pick up stones to kill him. They don't know him. Just like most of the people in the world don't know that with Jesus in the Old Testament. He said he did what? Go ahead. Verse 10 again. Verse 10. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. So he made the Garden of Eden. Yes, sir. He made the stars, the moon. He made the water. He made it all. Go ahead. Verse he 10. said the world, right? Yes, sir. So we talk about Venus. I know they gave his name. Venus, Mars, Saturn, all that stuff. He made all He made the whole solar system. It made by him. Go ahead. Verse 11. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Are you amongst these right here? When we preaching this in the book, you can't foul me your head. Nah, ain't, Jesus ain't like that in the Old Testament. You don't be in this number right here. His own knew him not. Talking about the Israelites. Didn't even know him. And they don't know him today. Go ahead. 12. But as many as received him, to them to them gave he power to become the sons of God, yes, sir. even to them that believe on his name. This is what I want, to be the sons of God. He talking about the daughters too, to be sons of God. God ain't going to be no more women and at the end of this time. It's going to be God's males. Go ahead. 13. Which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Yes, sir. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So he said the word, the word was made flesh. Yes, and Jesus, when he came through Mary. Go ahead. Verse 15. John bare witness of him and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. Yes, sir. Go ahead. And of his fullness have all we received. And grace for grace. Mm -hmm. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Uh, wasn't no prophet greater than Moses now. Mm -hmm. Him and Jesus had somewhat the same time now. Well, not same, well, he had the same time now in dealing with the people. He was a savior too. Moses was a great man of God, bleeding very great. Well, oh, check this out. Go ahead. 18. No man has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. So who were Abraham talking to? Jesus. I thought he was talking to the Father. They told me when I was coming up. No man have seen him at any time or even heard his voice. Jesus is our intercessor to the Father. Amen. Go ahead. 19. And this is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who art thou? That's good right there. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 9. Just want to make sure y'all understand that. Isaiah 9 and 6. We know our God in Him. Let's see what Isaiah said about it. Let's see the titles he put on it. Isaiah 9 and verse 6. Go ahead. For unto, for unto us a child is born. Yes, sir. Unto us a son is given. Mm. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Wait a minute. The Everlasting Father? Yes, sir. The Mighty God? Them some powerful titles for flesh and blood, man. That's God. That's Jehovah. That's Melchizedek. Man, he got so many roles he played. He came in the volume of the book. You just got to make sure you narrow it down, put scripture with scripture. All these Hebrews out here talking, they ain't bringing no book like this. We were talking about some good men of God. Bowie, Elijah, Marlon, all the brothers, they talk to me well. I appreciate it. Because I ain't know this. If you that, Go ahead, brother. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Yes, sir. Upon the throne of David. Where is the throne of David? That's in Jerusalem. Upon the throne of David, go ahead. And upon his kingdom, to order it, and to establish it with judgment, and with justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. When we read that upon the throne of David, 
you tell people Jesus is not taking us out to heaven, they think the throne of David is in heaven. The throne of David is in Jerusalem. We ain't going nowhere. Period. This is what he tells us right here. If you don't understand, we got to go through 1,000 years of Jesus' king. You don't know him if you don't know that. Let's go to Luke chapter 1. One more. Go ahead. Verse 8. The Lord sent a word into Jacob, and it had lighted upon Israel. Oh, that's real. Yeah. The Lord sent a word to Jacob because Jacob is the one that got to show you. Yes, sir. He got to show you. Israel got to show you how to obtain salvation. And who is Jesus? And we see in the many roles that he played. Let's go to Luke chapter 1. He said, Upon the throne uh, David, right? Yes, sir. The angel told Mary something, didn't he? Told him what this son was going to do. This counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father. Luke chapter 1. Let's see what the, the angel told Mary. Verse 26. Luke chapter 1 and verse 26. About the son that she going to birth. Go ahead. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Yes, sir. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Because the angel had to go talk to Mary and Joseph. Because, you know, you got to, you about to marry a woman, she pregnant. Like, hold up, man. Somebody right, man. You pregnant? That ain't my baby. It took an angel. Because Joseph was going to put away privately. Yes, sir. He wasn't going to embarrass her, but the angel came and told us, no, she carried the child of God. Well, that's just some faith right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> Go ahead. And the angel, verse 28, and the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. That's the only person i ever seen in the Bible that got that title. Highly favored. Only person. They always quote this highly favored. Ain't one person ever in this title that married. That's it. Go ahead. 29. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. I bet she was. I'm pregnant with a child. I ain't even had sex. Go ahead. Verse 30. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Yes, sir. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. And bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. Yes, sir. He Good. shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. We just read that. We just read it. All this written of Jesus. Every last bit of it. Go ahead. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. No end to his kingdom. Go ahead. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I have seeing I know not a man? She was like, Man, I ain't no, I don't know no man. Me and Joseph ain't had no sex. But the angel told her, Go ahead. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Yes, sir. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. This is your first in vitro fertilization right here. Y'all see it done all the time. Where you take a man's sperm and put it to a woman, boom. Man, they even got to have sex with him. That was the father. He took that sperm and boom, put it in there. Period. And people can't believe it's man doing this right here. Uh, no, man, Jesus, no. They, they, they know that, that David's son, I'm not, not David, but uh, Joseph's son, you don't know Jesus. If you say that, you better check yourself. You disrespecting God and his creation when you say stuff like that. Go ahead. 36. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she had also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her. Who was caught? We good with that. I just, I just read it all into that. But this is what I'm going to get people to understand. Who Jesus is and what is his titles. Let's go to Psalm 68. So another title. I'm all off of this, man. <laughs> Let's go to Psalm 68. Start with verse 1. Let's see another name. Go ahead. Let God arise. 
Let his enemies be scattered. Yes, sir. Let them also that hate him flee before him. Mm -hmm. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melted before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. That's what will happen at the presence of God when the wicked don't believe in his son. He's the only one that can get you there. Go ahead. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. When I read stuff about God and who he is, his title, man, I rejoice. I get excited because, man, I know something about it. And I have faith every time I, I kind of understand this stuff. It can make me stronger. It should do you all the same way. Go ahead. Verse 4. Sing unto God. Sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. By his name what? Yah. That's Yah. another one, ain't it? Yah, Jah. That's another name. Who is he talking about? Jesus. Yes, sir. Go ahead. A father of the fatherless and a judge of the widows is God in his holy habitation. The father said he ain't going to judge nobody, right? He committed all that to us and Jesus, right? So he's talking about himself right here. Jesus right here. Name, Jah, or Yah. You hear the Jamaicans always saying it's about Yah. But they don't even know. They're talking about Helen Selassie. This white man is the line of Judah. Bob and all the people talking about this stuff. Y'all man, not Jamaicans, they all right a little bit. They know a little scripture, but they believe in Helen Selassie, the line of Judah. That is not Jesus. Period. I'm going to stop right there. All right. Well, I hope everybody got an understanding of that. Jesus in the middle title, the God of the God of Israel. We could have went in the God of Israel too. That's one of his names too. I skipped that one. Huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all knew that one. We're going to end off that. I go on and on with that. I'm going to take up an offering. sit down, they can come up and show your thighs. This can be a distraction from the lesson. There will be no cross-dressing. Men should not wear women clothing, nor women wearing men clothing. If this happens, you will be asked to leave until you can dress appropriately. Romans 12 and 1. Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Cell phones and tablets. If you are using one during the lesson, please make sure you are not on anything that isn't pertaining to the lesson. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, etc. Baptism reminder. Yes, sir. Also, we got um, the memorial blowing the trumpet coming up the 18th of September. 17th, the evening going into the 18th. What is that? That's a double Sabbath, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, we're going to be on the Sabbath on the, at the evening, so make sure you get your stuff right. But uh, we're going to stand and close out. Uh, this man, therefore pray ye, our Father which are in heaven. Our Father which are in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. In earth. In earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debts to us. As we forgive our debts to us. Not in temptation, and it is not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For thou is the king, for thou is the kingdom, and the power, and the power, and the glory, and the glory, forever, forever. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord God of Israel. Praise the Lord God of Israel. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you.